everybody. I'm Chuck Fogel. I'm from the 49th Ward, a constituent in the area, owner of Nexus Commercial Funding. And I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Bill Morton, who's running for the 49th Ward Alderman position. I've known Bill for many, many years in the areas of uh, finance and community activity with, through the Chamber of Commerce. And I think Bill is probably our best choice for Alderman. He has a lot of innovative ideas as far as what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, what needs to be done for crime, in housing, business development. I'd like to ask Bill a few questions. Like, Bill, I, we've got a problem with housing in the neighborhood. You know, what can be done, particularly we've, with the tent city we have on Tui? It's all tied in housing, crime, and business uh, decline, you know, particularly with the tent city. What are your feelings about that? Well, first of all, housing is a human right. right. Um, we need to take care of this, situ this situation correctly. Um, our team has been researching different shelters throughout Chicagoland and different programs to get these people in the Tui Park tent encampment homes. Um, it's not acceptable to live in Tui Park. It's disrupted our, our park programs. They actually closed down our park. In my entire lifetime, I never heard of a park being closed um, for that reason or any reason. And I know that the people at Chicago Math and Science Academy, the parents, they're also outraged. Um, although for many reasons, um, they're not vocal about it. But I, I've, spe I've spoken with them and visited um, the people in the tent encampment, and we need to find them housing. Reopen the parks immediately. This will be my first priority as 49th Ward Alderman. And would this, in turn, help with the reduction in crime? Is this how much of a crime problem is being caused by this? Well, there, there, there's a lot of things going on over there on Clark Street. Um, you, you see people sitting in cars. Um, there's, there's gang activity. There's prostitution. There's needles on the floor. Uh, there's public exposure, and, and so on and so forth. Um, we need to enforce the 7 p.m. curfew. Uh, I'm sorry, the 11 p.m. curfew uh, with the Chicago Park District. Uh, the police feel like their hands are tied, and, and they're waiting for, for a signal from somebody. Um, but the incumbent alder person is not communicating with the police, does not work well with the police at all, and the police are not having regular contact with the Chicago Park District. I feel as the 49th Ward alder person, it will be my job to be a liaison so that to teach them how to communicate again and to hold daily briefs and keep our community well informed. Understandable. Now, would that in turn help with the business development in the neighborhood? Well, business development, um, the, the businesses around that particular area are greatly affected by the tent encampment and the senseless gun violence. Um, when, when you have blood on the street, when, when you have people dying, when you have people dying in the 49th Ward, it, the streets aren't safe. You cannot stimulate a local economy when you have that kind of situation until you take care of the basics, the public safety issue. And, and you can't feel safe in your house, and you can't have new people coming in. Um, it's very hard to promote your, um, your neighborhood as, as beautiful and, and um, magnificent and with all the amenities and the close proximity to the lake. When on the news all the time, all you hear is about the, the people. The, the, the violence on the streets. And people are very aware of it, and we're known for that. If you search Google and Rogers Park, it'll say Rogers Park crime. We have to fix that. Not just the image, but the issue of the violence. I understand. Hopefully that it can be accomplished. Now, what other areas do you see need for improvement that you could do as the alderman? Well, as far as um, um, economic development plan, um, what I want to do is work with um, legislation. I, I, wanna, I want to make an easy permit process. When you go to the City of Chicago website, you can find one form that, that's uh, antiquated, and, it's, and you can find another form for the same thing. Um, the, the website is all messed up, and it's so complex that it makes you have to go to your older person your business alliance, your economic de um, development corporation, or your chamber of commerce to, to get a permit done, whether it's residential or business. And I want to I make that process 
easy. And, and so you can pay online and, and sign up for it online easily. I can appreciate that having dealt with forms for the city. Now, one thing I like about being in the 49th Ward is our diversity. We, as, we have a crazy world out there where nobody wants to, we have, everybody's pointing rockets at everybody. But when you look at the 49th Ward, everybody is together. We have a very, very diverse community. And we have a few of our community members here. And I'd like to ask them to see, have them ask you a question and see how diverse we are and what you can do to help our community. There is, there is no um, resident, business, or institution I will not meet with. And our neighborhood is the most diverse in the city of Chicago, and I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting our, our people. Okay, and here we go. Hi, my name is Dr. Colby Sovia. I've met Bill since 09 when we launched the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce. Since that time, I've been able to open six businesses. And Bill has been there for me. He's been there to conduct events to bring me employees in my area. He's been there to conduct events to bring me clients. And each time I've opened a business, He's been there supporting my business, cutting the ribbon. And I'd like to thank you so much, Bill, for supporting the community, my business, and also the safety of the businesses in Rogers Park. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you so much, Sophia. See, so far, we, you liked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have more of your constituents to come up. More people want to speak with you. All right. Hi. How are you doing? Um, buenas tardes. Uh, mi nombre es Maria Arenas. Uh, estoy aquí porque llevo 25 años viviendo en Royce Park. Uh, llevo 10 años conociendo a Bill. Y se me hace una persona muy uh, sociable que se preocupa por la comunidad y porque las personas que están ahorita viviendo en, los, en el parque tengan un hogar donde estar y que es una persona muy uh, con un gran corazón y pues me gustaría que lo apoyaran para que pudiera él ganar en las elecciones y que muchas gracias gracias okay. I speak no Spanish <laughs> Hi. Hi, good evening everyone, and thank you for having me. Um, today I just would like to talk a little bit about uh, Bill. Bill, I believe, is an awesome person. I've been a friend of Bill for a while now. We've lived in Rogers Park together. And I believe in Bill because he has always cared about public safety in the 13 year, in his 13 years as Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce president he addresses the problems that people do not really want to talk about. And we have an issue with rat, yes, rats. And um, it affects our public health. And the, the rats are like everywhere. And Bill is interesting in finding a solution about this huge problem. Um, Bill has lived in Rogers Park, as I said, and he's the 49th ward for 29 years, longer than all the other candidates that are around combined. And I feel for the people in the tent uh, encampment in Tui Park, Bill is right when he said he could have addressed the Tui Park encampment on, on day one. As long as someone had the will to do the job on day one, when a tent appeared in Tui Park, those people would have had a home or somewhere to live and stay warm, especially in the winter. And the kids would still have the programs. It is unacceptable that the residents and their kids cannot use to park very freely. And um, my neighborhood needs to be safe. And Bill is very, very well aware of all the things that need to be done. And he will get the job done, I believe, in the best of his ability. Um, Bill cares much about public safety and will make sure that the police patrol are more often and does a very good job responsibly to keep us safe how the police do their work and rest with the elder person and the rest with the elder persons. Police officers have said that they hope Bill Merton will win and I believe so that he will. Um, if Bill becomes alderman, I know that he will take charge 
and he'd be a great leader and address all these issues that are burning questions on all that we have. I'm going to help Bill make sure that he becomes my next 49th ward and elder person and yours too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bill. I could have said it better myself. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta take care of those rats. <laughs> Take care of take care of the the food source. The, the rats. Oh, written. Not for the rats. Ra you, you mean the alderman, mm. current alderman. The rats. <laughs> rats. <laughs> uh, so we have more to talk to you. Hi, nice to meet. Hello. Nice to meet. Thank you for inviting me. I'm, I'm yes. So glad to see you. Guys. Thank you, Bill. So, any question or? Well, that's. Do you, you have some questions for Bill? How do you feel about Bill? Um, I'm so happy to invite over here. So I live in George Rogers Park for 15 years. I know Bill for a long time. Um, I want to say to the community of Rogers Park, why is the auction to so support to Bill? Why we had to vote for him? Because I know for a long time, he's a good person. He liked to work together with the people with the business. He's worried about the business, how it's running the business. So this is a good, a good idea to follow him because he's worried about the Rogers Park community. So he got great ideas in his mind. And, and I, I think it's, it's good ideas. He's the first time he mentioned he want to open a community hall for Rogers Park. I saw so many people, they never got the idea, but I think he opened this, this kind of community community place, Rogers Park will be okay. Everybody they can be together, Rogers Park, they can, can go to have good ideas for everybody. So that's why I think he got good ideas. He's the first people they got a good idea, new ideas is coming in the, on the table. So that's why we need, we need a Rogers Park. We need to support now. People Rogers like Bill. Park. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want to say in the Spanish, Bill es la mejor opción para votar. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque Bill se preocupa por la comunidad. Gracias a los que nos ven. Ojalá tengan la oportunidad de conocerlo y apoyarlo. Gracias. Más español, mucho, mucho poquito. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mucho gusto. Thank Bona stardis. Mi nombre es Cynthia McFadden. My name is Cynthia McFadden. I'm running for your 24th district police council ward in Rogers Park, and I look forward to working with Bill Morton as my 49th ward alderman. Bill is in my district. I have a history with Bill. We've worked on campaigns together. I have seen Bill's dedication and commitment to the 49th Ward. He's determined to be a change in the area and make a difference for our community. I have worked with him diligently and privately on goals to improve this community that we both have been into for decades. Bill's been here 29 years. I've been in and out of Rogers Park for the last 50 years. I've seen a lot of changes and a lot of things come apart. I know Bill was part of the Willie White part that was developed, was a great improvement in the 49th Ward and brought great activities for the first precinct. Bill has been involved in making a difference in Rogers Park, and he deserves a chance to be that permanent difference for us as our 49th District Alderman, okay? Ward Alderman. Sorry, I'm the district, he's the ward. We're going to work together with the 24th district. We're getting that Tui Park together. Part of my job will be your voice to make a difference for oversight and accountability and policing. And with Bill being the alderman, I would have to have a great relationship with him in order to enact that on a government level. We can't do it without a great alderman, and I look forward to Bill succeeding in this race. I ask you all to look at his commitment and his dedication to the diversity in the businesses in the community overall and know that where there's a will, 
There's a bill. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, good afternoon Bill. Um, my name is Mariana. I am uh, the founder of International Art Adventures, and I moved to Rogers Park in 1997, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, originally from Germany, and uh, I've met Bill probably like maybe 15 years ago uh, in many different you know, settings. Uh, there's a wonderful festival in, in Rogers Park. Rogers Park is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Chicago. And uh, it brings together people from all over the world. It is right by the Michigan Lake. And we have, you know, the summer festivals with art and culture, the Glenwood Art Festival for many years that I'm part of. And um, I have uh, always been so happy to see Bill come and support the arts in Rogers Park. And the arts can uh, bring, you know, change, positive change to the families, to the people in the world. And um, working with Bill is a great highlight. He is a wonderful, encouraging spirit and a blessing for our neighborhood and, f and for our world. And I do remember uh, featuring him in his father's art in Germany in Deutschland, where I'm from, <laughs> uh, where he was focusing on uh, Native American Indian dances and things through photography. And there are a lot of Native American Indian people close, you know, in Uptown, we have the Indian Center, but also in Rogers Park, there are many uh, Indian folks, Native American Indian folks as well. It's a great diversity. So, um, Ich bin aus Deutschland and um, I am from Germany and I was asked to speak a little German, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, sehr gut. <laughs> Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ein bisschen. Ja, sehr gut, <laughs> wunderbar. Sie Jahren im Gymnasium. Oh, tatsächlich, wunderbar. <laughs> ja, uh, ich habe in, in Rogers Park lange Zeit gelebt und selbst meine Mutter, my mother, has visited me in 19... 99 in Rogers Park <laughs> from Germany before she passed away. Um, meine Mutter kam 1999 nach Rogers Park and uh, Rogers Park is just beautiful, but without Bill, we will not have a great opportunity. So we must have Bill as alderman. He is a shining light for our neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Ellen. <laughs> As we said, very diverse. And we have more. Um, buenas tardes. Um, estoy aquí para apoyar a Bill. Um, llevo 26 años trabajando en la Morse Avenue en Rogers Park. So, uh, él es una persona muy buena persona, que es muy amable. Se, um, se preocupa por los um, locales de que están en Rogers Park. Quisiera que todas las personas que están viendo esto, que le den el apoyo, que le den la oportunidad para cambiar eh, un poco más a uh, Rogers Park. Um, que que uh, cambie un poquito más y uh, por favor, todas las personas apóyenlo, trátenlo. Él sí se está enfocado en el proyecto de, de Rogers Park. Thank you, I think we have reached the end of our, all the constituents are here today, except for one. I'd like to introduce Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Uh, hi, Bill. Well, my name is Trudy Leong, and uh, I've worked with Bill since uh, 2017. And uh, I started as an intern from uh, Northeastern Illinois University. And uh, Bill has been a uh, very great mentor, great friend for me, and uh, I've uh, I admire him so much because I see how hard he works, and he taught me. He took me around the whole neighborhood, walked me, and he said, "Look at, look at that. Be careful. Don't fall in that hole. Don't trip into that hole. Don't. There's something protruding there, and then uh, be careful." And now, uh, as your next alderman, if he gets elected, he will fix all those uh, hazards. There's a, a cave in sidewalks that are still there. How many years has it been? 
five. It's at least five. Yeah, well, and they shouldn't be. And Bill will take charge. I've seen him take charge and do as much as he can as Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce president. He's helped businesses. If he, when uh, businesses have uh, problems paying, uh, paying suppliers or because uh, of uh, charges that are wrong, he had me help, and I've helped that, and I really helped with that, and I really enjoyed it because I do like working with Bill. He's a champion of uh, of the people, of businesses, yeah. and I've always, always been a champion of people as well, and I'm so grateful that uh, I am working with Bill Morton, who will become your uh, 49th board alderman if you will vote for him. Please vote for Bill. Well, Bill, there you have it. This is what the community says about you. We want you as the alderman. It's wonderful, and, and I, will, I will help everybody that I can. I will treat it as a 24-7, 365, full-time, on-call job. It will be my responsibility to make public safety, public health, housing, and jobs better in our community. It will be my responsibility to do all that. And I'd like to introduce you to a special friend of ours, <laughs> Commissioner Frank Avila. Thank, uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, my name is uh, Commissioner Frank Avila. I'm a retired commissioner of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. Our mission at the district is to protect the health and welfare of the public. And Bill, he's running for all the person in the 49th Ward. Now, the 49th Ward cover, what area does it cover, Bill? It covers most of Rogers Park and a little bit of West Ridge and a lot of lakefronts. And, and this is strictly on the north side, and, and it involves what, Loyola University? Loyola University is there. Yeah, and Bill is concerned about education. He's concerned about education as regards to preschool, hmm. all the way up to Loyola University. Loyola University, and the ages ranges from two years old to 100 years old. Mm -hmm. he, Bill is concerned about the public. He's concerned about protecting the health and welfare of the public. And he's concerned about the area that's what's happening in the 49th Ward. He's concerned about education. He's concerned about jobs. He's concerned about uh, uh, enforcement of public safety, which is a, a very big concern now. Mm -hmm. And, and also, uh, your area also covers um, uh, the, uh, uh, the red line. Yes, it does. Yeah, people are afraid to ride on the red line. And, and Bill is going to work with the CTA to work with people that, that use the red line to go to work. Because people have to go to work to what? To pay the rent, to buy food, to send their kids to school. And this is what Bill is concerned about safety in the 49th Ward. So would you please go out and vote for my friend, Bill Morton. Thank you very much, Bill. And I'm glad that he's running. The only qualified person running in the 49th Ward. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much, Frank. Commissioner, good seeing you again. Yeah, thank you. you know, um, Commissioner Frank Avila, he, um, he mentioned the red line. And, and it's been very, very dangerous. Um, there, there's a lot going on with that, and we need to improve our public safety. We need to work with the Chicago Police Department. We need to have communication, which is, pre, which is currently not happening in the 49th Ward with the 24th District Police Department. And we need these positive changes so that we can be safe and be happy, healthy, and have a greater place to live, work, and play. Fantastic. Bill, it's been a pleasure. And as the commissioner just said, come out and vote for our most qualified, only qualified candidate, Bill Morton for the 49th Ward. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you.